How's it going, everyone? It is Drago. We're back with another chapter of Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest, Chapter 97 White Tiger Dragon Haku. Cover page for this week has Wendy on it with a like Santa in a sleigh above her, so in the Christmas season. With other holiday decorations all around her, like there's a little Christmas tree, there's a little reindeer right behind her. Very fitting because when I'm recording this, it is uh, snowing outside, so it's basically the same atmosphere that Wendy is in the cover right now. Very fitting that Wendy is also on the cover because she is the main focus of this chapter. We pick up the chapter with Wendy and Lily complaining about, you know, getting their clothes dirty and just how the labyrinth that they're in is an absolute pain in the butt. Meanwhile, they are getting snuck up on by Haku. And, you know, he's being a nice guy, you know, he just says, you know, I can turn you into a plush and, you know, that'd fix your clothes problem. And, of course, they're immediately on red alert because they're like, oh, this is a Diablos guy. So he introduces himself and he already has to hype himself up because he's like, oh, I'd be two of your, uh, your guild mates already. Technically, he hasn't because Natsu, Lucy, and Happy are still running around, but, you know, he just wants to hype himself up, I guess. Which Wendy's like... This kid beat some of our guild members and Haku decided, you know, I'm going to take that personally because, you know, you're a kid as well. How dare you freaking criticize me defeating your guild mates. You might as well play the fairy tale wow sound effect as, you know, Wendy's kind of blushing after him saying about the kids stuff. You know, he immediately falls in love with her, which he immediately wants to know Wendy's name. And I love Wendy's like expression as she's looking at him like, what now you want to know my name? I guess he's not able to speak right because Lily and a few times throughout this chapter, they point out that he keeps slurring his words now. Very much reminds me of Juvia and Leon, like when they're madly in love about a person in their life. Because once he finds out Wendy's name, he's like, Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. He must have learned from Juvia because, you know, he's just going to tell her straight up that uh, he loves her. If you keep going at it like Juvia did, uh, you know, you'll eventually probably get them to go out with you. Which I like that, like, Lily is just mortified that this guy is trying to ask Wendy out practically. Which Haku immediately forgot about his mission because he's like, I don't care about the mission that we're on. I just care that you get with me and I flip and love you. Don't care about the mission. And Wendy's just like, I, I, I don't know how to respond to this guy. Wendy's still noticing that he said he beat two of her friends, uh... She doesn't entirely believe him, but uh, if he did, she's not going to stand for it. Good for you, Wendy. And when she starts explaining his plush magic, and he starts a demonstration of it on Lily, which Lily's plush looks very cute, and I guess he can't really move around that much because he says he lost his strength. Haku still asking the most important questions. He asks Wendy out on a date, but Wendy is in battle mode now, and she has Irene beside her, and she casts an enchantment on Lily and saves him from the plush form. Seems like Wendy is the perfect counter to this guy because, you know, whatever spell he does, she just immediately reverses it. Cool panel with Wendy as well, explaining her power set, which uh, Haku's still doubling down, saying that he loves Wendy very much, and Wendy's just like, get over it, kid. Irene must just be able to take over Wendy's ability to talk at any time. She gets asked, uh, by Haku if he'll go out with her if he wins and Irene takes over Wendy's voice and says that's fine by me and she's like crap what what did I just say which Irene's having a fun time with it she really starts trash talking him as well and Wendy and Irene have a conversation she basically just got bored watching their romance happening here and uh, she wasn't gonna tolerate him trying to hurt Wendy good for you Irene what should we get scary Irene. We get a panel with her looking scary like Urza saying that he needs to be taught a lesson. And Wendy starts, you know, powering up, laying off a lot of magic power. Even Lily does a quote, you know, noting how much magic power she's letting off. Haku does try and uh, do the plush doll spell on Wendy, but it just does not work whatsoever on her which uh, he must not get that many people that can block this spell because he's like, huh, that didn't work. Well, uh, what do I do now? Crap. 
Which I like how they have different ideas of winning here. Because Wendy's like, well, if I knock you out, I win. And then Irene in the back of her head's like, if I tear him to shreds, we win. Yeah. Again, got that evil Urza eye. Very mischievous. Don't trust this woman. Haku's really into it. Like, oh, yes, hit me, please. Wendy does an attack called Sky Dragon's Wind Wave. Which she makes like a little tornado. Pretty cool looking. Immediately... Followed up by a Sky Dragon's Roar, which, gosh, this guy loves anything about Wendy right now because he's like, oh my goodness, the wind came out of her mouth. That's so magical. Pretty rare you get someone doing this, but uh, he walks straight into Wendy's Sky Dragon Roar, and they both look pretty stunned by that. Like, wow, we've, uh, we've never had someone just walk straight into it and made our job so easy. Wow. Which Haku's just on the ground like, oh man, that Sky Dragon's Roar. That was really something, wasn't it? And both of them are like, yeah, let's just not use that attack against him again, because this is kind of creepy. Which, I'm assuming this is going to be his true nature of magic, because Wendy's gearing up to do another attack, and Haku finally decides to get serious, and he gets more animalistic, and says he's the white tiger, and just does a super fast attack by, like, running at Wendy and he does call it fast as light speed. I mean Wendy can buff her speed as well and maybe enchant him in some way. Should be interesting for her. The cat's really out of the bag here because he turns Irene into a plush so now she's outside of Wendy's body. Well, Lily knows that Irene is within Wendy now at least. I wonder if he were to undo the plushification right now. Would she just immediately go back into Wendy's body or would it make like a physical body for Irene? He very much must have been uh paying attention to Wendy because she was having weird conversations in her head, noticed Irene's presence, I guess, and turned her into a plush. Wendy tries to undo it, but the enchantments that she tries uh, do not work. She cannot unplushification. You get Haku looking pretty spooky, saying that he's one of the Dark Dragon Slayer Knights and that he is really strong. Very interesting fight, though coming up here for Wendy and Ahaku. I could see it ending in a joke thing because he l is loving her so much, but uh, if it is actually a legit serious battle, I mean, Wendy can do stuff with wind to try and slow him down, but who knows how that will go. And the final page of the chapter, we go back to Loxus versus Kieran, and he's just on the ground, and I wouldn't say he's down for the count. He probably just got knocked over, and he's just wondering what the heck kind of magic he just got hit with, and he pretty much says the same line that Haku does, that he is a dark dragon slayer knight. And that is the end of our chapter, so my thoughts. I thought Wendy and Haku's relationship was pretty cute. I can see people getting really creepy about it really fast. But I thought their relationship was very cute. Kind of reminds me of like Wendy and Romeo a little bit. Because you don't see Wendy interacting with that many younger people. But it should be a very interesting fight if it's actually a serious fight. And I do wonder about what will happen when you unplushification Irene. Does she go back into Wendy or does she become her own thing? Or back to her own person? And I'm pretty sure that Loxus is not down for the count. I'm imagining probably next chapter will probably focus on him or it'll probably go over to some of the other members because we haven't seen what Gray and Urza are doing for a while and I suppose you could see what Lucy, Hatsu, and Happy are doing as well. Also forgot about Gajil and Carla. What do you guys think of the chapter? Leave it in the comments below. Otherwise thank you for watching and this is Drago. Signing out.